Here's the short answer, forgive the pun. Anybody can make a YouTube short right now. You could start a YouTube channel today, not have any subscribers or views, as long as the video is made in a vertical format and is less than 60 seconds long, and it does not matter what device you use, it does not matter how you upload it, it does not matter even if you include hashtag shorts in the title or the description, it qualifies as a YouTube short. Whether it appears on YouTube as a shorts video is an entirely different question. And now for the long answer. So I'm making this video because some of you are still a little confused about how YouTube shorts work. And that's okay, I don't blame you. YouTube still aren't doing a very good job of communicating shorts. So vidIQ is stepping in to help out. Now, the one thing I will stress before we go into this is that everything is correct as of time of recording at the end of 2020, because in 2021, YouTube shorts may look a lot different. And this is why. That's because most of us are still waiting to get our hands on this button in the YouTube mobile app. This will allow creators to make 15 second videos with a multi-segment camera, music, speed controls and more. Basically, it's a TikTok camera for a TikTok video platform on YouTube. But as of time of recording, this feature is currently only available in certain countries, such as India. And here is the irony. I've been talking about YouTube Shorts for months and I still don't have access to the tool on my mobile app, which is why I'm creating them everywhere and anywhere apart from on the app, but it could all change in the future. It may be that at some point in 2021, everybody has to create YouTube shorts from the mobile app. That is to be determined. And I'll let you know all about that in the future if it does change. So to clarify, if you currently don't have this button, this is how you can make a YouTube short. Put very simply, there are no minimum creator requirements. You don't need any views or subscribers. You could create a channel today and make a YouTube short. How do we know this? Well, we created a brand new shorts channel, started making shorts, and they are being viewed on YouTube as shorts. What do we mean by a shorts view? Well, as promised, we turned the intro to this video into a short video. But if we watch the video through the normal YouTube player, you can see that we can swipe down to see the comments and other suggested videos. This would be a normal YouTube view. However, if we watch this same video as a short video, as seen here in the featured section of the channel, the player controls change so that now, when we swipe up, the next short video plays instead of seeing comments and suggested videos, and so on and so on. This is classed as a shorts view in traffic sources and has significance when we start to talk about monetization. Next up, you can create, edit, and upload your videos using any device. How do we know this? Well, I made the intro to this video using this camera, editing it with this program, and uploading it through a desktop computer to YouTube, and it is classified as a YouTube short. Yes, you can make videos on a mobile device and upload them as normal videos to YouTube. Basically, it doesn't matter how you make the video, it just needs to meet these two requirements. The video must be less than 60 seconds in length. To play it safe, make it no longer than 58 seconds. Also, to play it safe, make it longer than at least five seconds. Secondly, the video must be a square to vertical format. So this would be a square format video. Let's say the resolution is 1080 by 1080. If it is a pixel wider than it is taller, then the video won't be classed as a YouTube short. Now, this is a vertical video. Most people will record in vertical video because they're basically using their mobile phone in portrait mode. If you go any thinner than this, then it may not be considered a YouTube short. And to be honest, it just looks ugly on screen and is not worth doing. How do we know all of this? Well, we did a massive test on the aspect ratio of YouTube Shorts. You can watch it over here. And finally, you can include hashtag shorts in the video title or description, but it is optional. There is some confusion here because YouTube customer support seems to imply that this is mandatory, whereas a creator 
who is very close to the internal YouTube teams, has suggested in a Facebook post that hashtag shorts has no bearing on its discoverability on the platform and is for internal YouTube tracking only. What I can tell you is that we've uploaded videos as shorts but not included hashtag shorts and they're still identified as shorts. Wow, that's a lot of shorts in one sentence. On the other hand, we have seen one channel that included hashtag shorts in every single video title and they've got half a billion views in three months. For the full story on that one, check out the video over here. Okay, once you've uploaded your video, how do you know whether it qualifies as a YouTube short? Well, in the desktop YouTube studio, go to the customization screen and on the layout screen, click add section. You can add a short video section to your channel, which only appears on the YouTube app version of your channel page and looks like this. Essentially, these are all of your YouTube shorts. So then, if you follow all of the requirements as laid out in this video, then your video has a chance, and let me stress this, has a chance of being viewed as a YouTube short. So logically, the next thing you want to find out is whether or not your videos are being viewed as YouTube shorts. And that's where we need to dip into the analytics. It's all well and good knowing that your video qualifies as a short, but not that many people go to channel pages on the YouTube mobile app. For your videos to explode as YouTube Shorts, they need to start appearing in the home feed, the subscription feed, and as suggested shorts on video watch pages, as you can see here, to accrue millions of views. So on the analytics page of the YouTube studio, click the see more button to bring up advanced analytics and then click on traffic source. This will show you at a channel level how many views you are getting as YouTube Shorts. Next up, if you want to review the performance of an individual video, from the video list on the content screen, mouse over a video and click the analytics icon. You can do the same advanced analytics here if you want to, but on the right hand side, you get a real time view count, including your traffic sources. So in this example, the video is doing exactly as intended it's being watched as a short video. You'll also start to get an understanding of how YouTube Shorts draw in viewers. Nothing for days after publishing and then all of a sudden, a surge of views. And now, courtesy of vidIQ, here's another little bonus short analytic free of charge. If you use vidIQ, you're probably already familiar with our channel real-time stats bar showing you views per hour, subscribers, and so on. Well, mouse over it now and you'll see a new analytic. YouTube Shorts views over the last 48 hours. So if you add that to the stats bar, we can now see that over the last 48 hours, half of the views on our YouTube Shorts channel come from YouTube Shorts views. We're currently trialing this tool, so feedback is welcome in the comments below. Now then, YouTube Shorts and monetization. Let's quickly talk about this. First of all, if you're working towards monetization, any subscribers gain from YouTube Shorts do count towards 1,000 subscribers. However, not all watch time from YouTube Shorts videos count towards 4,000 hours of watch time for monetization requirements. To explain this in more detail, we need to go back to this demonstration. If a viewer watches your YouTube video through the regular YouTube watch page, even if it is a short video, this counts as a regular view, so you do earn monetization watch time. However, if the same video is watched through the YouTube Shorts watch page, the watch time does not count towards monetization. I'm not surprised if you're a little confused right now. As I said, YouTube have not done the best job in communicating all of this stuff to creators. We know all of this because when we look at the traffic sources on our Shorts channel, we can see the total watch time hours don't match up to the watch time hours accrued towards monetization. The difference between these two figures is, roughly speaking, the watch time from YouTube Shorts, which aren't counted. And if you think that's complicated, wait until you get monetized. That's because, get ready for this, yes, you can upload videos to YouTube and turn on monetization. But if it's a short video and it's viewed as a YouTube Shorts, adverts do not play in the Shorts player, so they will not earn any ad revenue from that source. Again, to put that into a practical example, my vidIQ colleague Dan has a gaming channel and he's experimenting with YouTube Shorts. This is a very popular short on his channel, which has three quarters of a million views. But notice we didn't see an advert because we watched it as a YouTube Short. However, 
When we play the same video through the regular YouTube watch page, we see an advert to kick things off, which does earn Dan a little bit of revenue for this short video. So depending on how a viewer watches the same video determines whether the creator earns any ad revenue from it. To put that into context, the channel I mentioned earlier that we have done a case study on has earned over half a billion views from making short videos. But almost 400 million of those views come from YouTube shorts that can't be monetized. And as another colleague of mine might say, that's savage. As it stands, this is the complete beginner's guide to making, uploading and checking your YouTube shorts if you do not yet have the YouTube shorts button in the YouTube mobile app. This YouTube tool is in a constant state of flux. So if you want to keep up to date with all of the latest YouTube shorts news, make sure to subscribe and check out the playlist over here. Thank you very much for watching and enjoy the rest of your video making day.